Hey guys, in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to make um, sidebars for your Pokemon um, Let's Plays and stuff for free. Um, uh, you need Camtasia Studio 7 and Paint.net or some picture making software that you're good at. First thing you want to do is uh, you want to go to Google and depending on what game you're playing, for example if you're playing black and white you can just, you, you want to search for a background for your sidebar for so um let's say you're playing black and white you can what I do is I normally just search black and white oops well I spelled that wrong and click images and you might be able to find like this a cool looking background for your videos like you could choose uh you could choose this or you could choose you know, you could choose something else, you could choose, you know, like you could search around, look for something uh, in black and white. So, I'm just going to choose something easy and just go with, I guess we'll just go with this. You copy it, and you open paint.net or whatever you want to use. Uh, go to image, and then canvas size should be the third option. You want the width to be about, uh, you know, about 150. I mean, not 150. You want it to be about uh, 70, and then you want the height to be about 450. So it looks like that. Uh, you might want to make it a little bigger, a little smaller, depending on what you prefer. Uh, actually, I'm going to make the width a little bit bigger. Let's make the width 120. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. So then you want to go and paste the picture you copied off of Google, and you want to keep canvas size. Click keep canvas size, uh, and you'll see this. You could drag it around. You could choose a certain part of the picture that you want to use. Um, I'll choose uh, this part, I guess, because that looks pretty cool. Um, now it should look something like this. N next thing you need to do is go back to... Uh, your internet and you want to go to Pokemon Elite 2000 dot com slash sprites uh, I should have a link down in the description to this so go go ahead and get on that and you should see it should show you this uh, you, you have a large choice of sprites you can choose from black and white heart gold and soul silver platinum diamond and pearl and even back to all the way back to red blue and green so uh, a lot of a lot of sprites um, just choose, I normally choose black and white because they look the best in my opinion, but you know, you can choose whatever you want. And then you choose the Pokemon y that is on your team. Um, you know, if you're using Windows, you can hit Control and F, and you should have this little bar drop down. And then you just type in this box which Pokemon you want to use. Well, I'm choosing Houndoom. So you can type in hi Houndoom, and it'll highlight Houndoom right here. So you click on it and should give you this. You take that, cop copy it, and go back to paint. Then down in the bottom right corner you should have a box that says layers. Hit hit add new layer. Then you want to paste the picture of the Pokemon. Now it shouldn't it shouldn't have a background now because you know you don't want a background on your uh sprite, you want it to be cropped already and then you just drop it where you want it to be. You drop it a little lower than uh, from the top. Once I normally I put my uh, first Pokemon down, then I'll write the text. Go go to um, your text tool and you can type in, uh, let's say you're playing Pokemon White, you can just type in White or something like that. And uh, this might be confusing. I mean, I, I'll you can just send me your video. If you don't understand this, you can just send me your video, and I'll put it in the sidebars for you. As long, the only thing you have to do is you have to subscribe to me, and then I'll do that for you. Let's see. Um, just email me the uh, the video, and I'll go ahead and put the sidebars in for you. If you don't quite understand this, but uh. 
I won't do that for everybody because I think I'll get a lot of requests if I do that. Then you can go back and uh, you can just get as many sprites as you want on your team. I mean, so yeah, you could do that. And then once you're finished with your sidebar, you go to save as. And do not save it as a paint.net file. Save it as a JPEG or a PNG. I, don't save it as anything other than a BMP, a GIF, a JPEG, or a PNG, just to be safe. I normally save it as a uh, JPEG. Uh, you, sh you can name it whatever you want. You can name it uh, you know, Pokemon White Sidebar. I'll just name it Test Sidebar. Uh, it'll give you an option to set the quality. You probably want the quality to be pretty high. It doesn't really affect anything. Um, save save for you to save it or anything. Just just make the quality high, and you want to flatten it. Click flatten. It doesn't change anything really. Nothing you need to worry about. Now go ahead and open up Camtasia Studio. Um, if you don't have Camtasia, that's fine. You can download a free trial and get the key for it. But again, if you want me to make, go ahead and make you the sidebars for your videos. I'll do that. Um, so once you open it up. This is a really easy video editing software. I mean, I'm not very good at video editing softwares. I cannot use Sony Vegas Pro at, at all, but I can still use this. It's pretty simple. I taught myself how to use it in a couple days. It didn't take long. Go ahead and import your your sidebar. Test sidebar. Let's import that. And you can see it if you click on it, double click on it. There you go. Um now import your video. I'll just take this a random video. Um, let's see. I know I have some in here. Fire Red. Let's take uh, episode two of my Fire Red thing that I recorded. Let's do this for fun. You drag it down to the bottom. Then you left click on. I mean, not quite yet. You, you're going to, but just wait one second. First thing you want to do is you want to take. You want to go up here and click on click on this. Drop it down and click editing dimensions drop this down and click on YouTube and HD it should be the third option from widescreen click YouTube and HD click OK now it should it should have a lot of um, space around the video I'll show you see there's a lot of space around the video that's a good thing you're gonna need that um, now you want to click on zoom and pan Um, click on zoom, and, zoom and pan, and then you should this should <gasps> this should pop up. Um, you'll see four dots on the edge. I mean, on the side of each box. I mean, the, on the side of the box. You want to drag. It doesn't matter which one. You just want to drag it in to the the size of the video, and you want you want a big black empty spot to be left right here. You want to get the entire video, but you want a box. You want some room left over here. It should look something like this. You can put it on either side. You can drag the box over here, or you can have it over here. I prefer the left side. That's just that's just how I do it. You can do it either side. It doesn't matter. Once you have your uh, keyframe zoom and pan thing done, um, you want to drag it to the beginning. You know, just in case you didn't already. Um, and then you go back to your clip in and left click on test sidebar and you want to click add as call out should be the second option and then you'll see it just float it'll just float floating over the video you want to drag the bottom corner down to where it's like that uh, now you can you want to check it make sure um, you want to drag it all the way to the end of the video make sure you do that and then you want to check it, make sure it fits, you know, just like that. You can just make it bigger, smaller, you know. Just you want to make sure it fits, cause you know, there it should look something like that. Um, you know, if this is too confusing or something like that, if you're having problems, you can you can just comment below, or you can just you know I'll do it for you. I mean I'll accept some some requests. I won't accept every single request, but. You know, you might want to mess with zoom and pan and everything like that first. You want to, you might want to mess with it a little bit. 
before um you do this um you know just send me a message if uh if you have any problems or troubles with it here let's drag it over there now you can go back to zoom in pan zoom in a little more you know might take a little bit but it's uh it's worth it just mess with it there i know this isn't pokemon white but still just it's a test <laughs> Now, let's see, you want to go up to Produce and Share, once you're finished, drop this down, and you want to click on Custom Production Settings. You click Next. Uh, you want to save it as a WMV Windows Media f Video, or a MOV, Quick Time Movie. Um, WMV, up they, those kind of videos upload fastest on YouTube, so that's what I do. It only takes a couple minutes, like three, four minutes. You just leave all this the same. Then you want to uh, you want to edit this custom size. You want to make the video. If you want HD, you want it to be 1,280 by 720. You just want it to look just like this right here, just this area. You don't need to worry about this. Just this when it's custom size is selected. Um, if you don't want HD, um, well HD doesn't make it upload any slower. I mean, it still takes. It'll take a little longer to, to render on Camtasia, but um, if you don't want HD, then you can make it four. Uh, I think it's 480 by 360, or 420 by 360. Um, oops, I don't know, but I always put mine in. I I put mine in HD. It's just it's just worth it. It makes it look better and sound better, you know. So. Then you hit next, unless you, unless you don't unless you want to add in a watermark. I don't really I'm not really going to show you how to do that because that's not really important. Um, and then you can wait, click next after this. This is just just showing you introduction and stuff. Uh, and then you want to save your video file. I'll just name it test sidebar video. Uh, and then you can hit finish, and it should be rendering. It takes a while, but uh, you know you might want to upload it in HD. You sh you could just leave and go do something else. You could just minimize it and work on some other videos, or you could just uh, put it in regular quality. I'll just cancel it. When once it's finished, this should pop up, and you can just I mean something should pop up, and you can just hit finish. There. So that's how you make sidebars. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, please, or else, if you don't subscribe, then I'm not going to accept your sidebar requests or anything like that. And I hope you guys, uh, I hope this helped you out. If it didn't, I'll, I'll try to make another tutorial. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.